Free to succeed. Raid Shadow Legends. Uh, copy from the World Edition, again. Uh, you don't get to hear the first edition edition. That'll, ju that'll just be for us. <laughs> um, it's still the Summon Event edition, even though it's Monday morning. And that's weird for me. That is a new experience for me. Um, which I guess means we get to summon some more. We, we've snagged, we got pretty lucky with the Void Shard drops over the weekend. And then also, I have more Clan Boss drops here. So, so, let's see what we get from this one. And then we're probably gonna pop some shards. We don't need to for the summon rush, <clears throat> but I just kind of do whatever I want to do. And there's not anything any of you can do about it. So, um, that's probably what's going to happen today. Ooh, and we got a sacred. Give me a void. I'll take another ancient. That's fine. I said void, though. So, we'll talk about that later. We've actually got a pretty nice little summon session here. Like, it's many. But, also, um, I didn't have anything else to say. I got excited about talking. So never mind. All right. We, I believe in the last video I was talking about Shadowkin. And I was saying I'm going to clear it. And we did it. Let's, again, I don't remember if I've talked about it. I don't think so. Let's talk about how we did it. And then we'll probably get to the summons. <clears throat> now, I, you'll notice we have a six star uh, King, I was gonna say Kingashi, so Ken Kenagashi. And that's because we got, first we, we, we three starred everything except the boss stage with Ninja, Kimi, uh, Karato, Yoshi, and Jirojin. And we did a, we, Again, I don't remember if we talked about his gear, but this is what they all looked like, and they all first try, three start everything up to the boss stage. We got to the boss stage, and then I had the issue, I first had the issue of Ninja dying, because Ninja, I guess, was the least tanky on the team. He would go down. <clears throat> and then I fixed that, and then I had an issue of him going down. And so I fixed that, and then I was like, all right, fine, I'll swap in this one. For him and I got to five star and we'd get we'd get to the end of the run and then she would end up dying and I was like I'm tired of this I've got like an hour and a half until the crypt closes or or until I was gonna be done for the night and then I, I wasn't gonna be, play the next morning either way I knew I knew I had a, a small window to get it done and I was like I'm not doing this anymore <laughs> I am going to be done with shadow Ken uh tonight so we just went ahead and six starred one she's a good champ it's not like we're gonna regret it i didn't even put a banner on her i just needed her base stats to go up it, at five star she's at like thirteen thousand hp at six star she's at eighteen thousand, and that just helps her stats scale so much better so again solid champ i don't have any problems with with having six star i'm sure we'll do other stuff with her and if i want to make a video on her now i can so um there's that we didn't do any masteries on her and yeah, we, we did skill her up though we, we ended up having to skill her all the way up, but again, she doesn't take a bunch of books, and all of her skill ups are pretty good, right? We get a better chance to knock back turn meter here. We get a nice cooldown on the on the team up, which the team up is pretty nice in there with Ninja because he'll A1, but the defense down up, and his A2 just is unreal against bosses. It, he does, there, there was a part of the fight where I think the boss had like 78% HP left, and he hit it with A2 and dropped down to like, 40% it was insane how much damage he does so um, and then of course the revive so that was it after after we six start her it was easy we had to time because then Yoshi started going down so we just had to time the revive at the end but again if I was willing to six star Yoshi <clears throat> like right now we'd have been fine you know what I mean it, it, it wasn't really that difficult having her is pretty huge if I was willing to six star these guys uh, I think I think the only issue I'd, I might have is ninja going down um, which is fixable, but 
I was really trying to not have to move gear around and stuff. So anyway, that's how we did it. So if, if you're struggling with it, I would say while the Fusion's live, this can be done with her at five star if you wanted to like really take some optimal gear and put it on her. I was trying to use leftover gear without, you know, my, my silver was relatively limited. I didn't want to be swapping gear around uh, as much as I could help it. So <clears throat> that's uh, that's it. That's, that's how we did it. So it's done. So now we have Banner Lords, we have Ogren, and then Skinwalkers, which we've made a little bit of progress in already. We went back and started trying to three star some of these older stages. And uh, I think Ogren's gonna be tough, man. I'm gonna have to do something with her because she's not contributing right now. I've got her in <clears throat> and I think I've got her set up to survive, but in doing that, she's not really contributing much. Like I need more damage output because I feel like we, I feel like with based on the other faction crypts, I feel like 16, 16 and 18 for sure. With the way these champs look, we should be able to three star these. These shouldn't really be a problem. We've got good support. We've got cooldown reduction. We should we theoretically have AOE damage, single target damage here, and then a revive. We should be three starring these champs on auto. It really shouldn't be that big of a deal. But I think maybe their their gear is just like too too left over, and I'm probably gonna have to invest a little bit more in them. So I have to decide like, am I willing to six star Cleo to get more damage, or I don't know. We're gonna play around with it, um, and then Lizardmen, Lizardmen, like it's a fucking last name. Um, Bartholomew Lizardmen. Uh, it opens in an hour and a half. We'll, we'll probably try to make a little progress in there today if we're able. So, uh, yeah, that's that. Let's go ahead and pop these shards. Because we don't need to. You know what I mean? Let's let's summon all these shards because we absolutely don't need to do that. For any reason. I'll probably get this Lego book. Yeah, I'll definitely get this Lego book. I might get this chicken. Yeah. Let's go. I'll take it. All right. Um, I'd honestly be happy with any of the legendaries, even an, even a Duke Astralon. I'd be I'd be stoked about. <clears throat> and then uh, Dumisia. We did just pull a legendary, didn't we? Yeah, we pulled Elenero. So we we definitely aren't in pity, but like, you know, who gives a shit? Who actually gives a shit? Dude, that, that helmet looks so uncomfortable. Like, no line of sight. No peripheral vision for you. And you're short already? Just staring straight at somebody's knees, dude. Okay, nothing from the ancients, but... Um, now let's do the voids. <clears throat> Give me Shamel or Seer. Although, I don't know, we're, 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 we'll figure some, figure some stuff out with uh, Elenaril. Well, man, talk about, talk about, um, I don't know, talk, talk about not getting good stuff from your shards. <laughs> Boy, fuck, fuck these shards, dude. This was terrible. Instant regret. I immediately regret my decision to summon those shards. I guess I'm going to green shard and get this chicken. Now. How many more points do we need? A few? Just a few? Okay, fine. That's annoying. I'm annoyed. I still got a five star all this fusion food, dude. Um Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get that chicken for sure. So I guess that's a win. A Lego book and a chicken for a few shards. It's it's probably it's an even trade, but I would have been I would have been stoked to get something good too, you know. Sometimes it's fun to get good stuff too.
Does this give us room to do another tin pop? It gives us exactly enough room to do another tin pop. I reckon. No, before I start doing, I was gonna say we could start building her. I need to finish Faction Wars before I do any more like fun projects. I need to get that done. Two more champs. Oh my God, what's happening? This tin pop should do it. This should get us the chicken. It damn well better. Yes, sir. Honestly, how far are we from like, so we're at about 6,000, 400, then 500, and then for some reason, 1,100 for one more. Why? Who's, who's deciding these increments? <clears throat> And this pack right here is unreal. Unreal. I can't imagine seeing that and be like, yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Whoever's deciding the increments on, on, on those events on the bottom tier, on, I mean, honestly, all the tiers probably, but especially on the bottom tier, needs a, needs a, needs a tit slap, an unfriendly tit slap. And that can mean whatever you need it to mean. All right, ranking period ends in seven hours and we are in the green, okay? Maybe I'll try to keep an eye on that today. Ha! Get it? Get the joke? The joke is that I won't probably do that. <clears throat> Does Arena seem like it's sorting itself out to, to anyone? I feel like lately, although I am back up here now, my, my issue, what, what was the issue was that like bronze and silver still seem so fucked up and I'm not down there so I don't know. Gold 4 and 5 feels about like I think it should feel now. The other day, he missed an HP burn on a, I don't remember who it was. It was a magic champ though. And I don't think that's supposed to happen, but he did it. End of story. <clears throat> we saw some pretty good apartments over the weekend. We applied for two. And one of them, I'm pretty sure, were the only ones applying for. So, theoretically, we're done. But, Theoretically, I was gonna get something better from the shards today, so who the fuck knows what's going on, really? You know what I mean? This little bastard, this little three-foot bastard, had an opportunity to ignore defense, and, and that's the time he decided to do not one single crit in both hits. And that's upsetting to me. I bet that cape Tormund has gets annoying to walk around in all the time with all the frost and stuff on the bottom of it. Because it's like, it's probably not real heavy, but imagine, imagine walking around in a cape that had like, I don't know, like four pounds of stuff on the bottom of it. Are you a 
imagining it. <clears throat> so that gets to cleanse everybody of the provoke, and then he comes right back. Cool. Wonderful. Now. Can we hold on? The freezes were pretty clutch. I think we got this. I think we got this. Get her out of here. Get her out of here. Well, we, we needed some crowd control there. She's gonna revive too. But we got the freeze. All right, I think we're in good shape here. Yeah, that's a GG. That's a GG. <clears throat> okay. We'll just probably just do a little bit more of that today. I guess we need to do, we got a couple days on Hydra. We can still play around with that. Maybe I'll play around with it in the stream today. Um, and then, yeah, I guess it's time to hit claim loss. Okay, we're, we're finding, we're kind, of, we're kind of finding our new routine here. Everything's starting to kind of happen pretty smoothly. Forge pass. God, so dumb, so bad, so bad and dumb. Um, all right, I'm getting out of here. Those gems though. <clears throat> 